wonderful wonderful sunday so far um i do apologize for being so late unfortunately i did get lost along the way and i know there are some people out there that will be like you know what it's completely fine we understand it happens um well there's going to be others that are going to be like uh no you knew where you were going you should have known the route you're gonna take you should have been on time you know i don't you know excuses excuses there is no excuse for you um, in which case, you know what, everybody has their own opinions on the matter. I'm along with the same opinion as the first one where it'd be like, you know what, it's completely normal. Everybody gets lost at some point. Everybody gets lost along the way. Sometimes it's not physically. It can be emotionally, it can be spiritually. We do get lost along the way. And it's so easy because this world is changing ever so quickly in a heartbeat look how how, how quickly um the whole covid situation spread how quickly things just went into lockdown how quickly things changed so easy for us to get lost along the way and it's and it's completely normal to get lost and i know it can be scary to be in a situation where you don't know where you're going you, you don't know what's ahead of you but I want to put you at ease. I want to take a passage from Matthew 18, verse 10 to 14. It's the parable of the lost sheep. It says this, I see that you do not look down on one of these little ones, for I tell you that the angels in heaven always see the face of my Father in heaven. What do you think? If a man owns a hundred sheep and one of them wanders away, will he not leave the 99 on the hills and go look for the one that wandered off? And if he finds it, I tell you the truth, he is happier about that one sheep than about the 99 that did not wander off. In the same way, your Father in heaven is not willing that any of these little ones should be lost. So what that is trying to tell you is that we may get lost along the way, but God is always there to steer us in the right direction. I want you to Imagine this for a moment. Think of yourself in one big maze. This maze, in this maze, you are going to one destination. You, you are going to go to one goal. You are fighting through this maze. You are, you are wandering through this maze. Just, just to reach that one destination, what will it be for you? Some might say it's food. Some might say it's money. Some might say it's success. And I tell you this, in God's plan, in God's journey, there is only one destination. That is God's glory, God's kingdom. That is heaven. There's only one destination when it comes to God's plan. 
However, there are many paths that we might take. Picture yourself as I said, keep picturing yourself in this maze. It's not going to be a straightforward path. You're not just going to go in one straight direction and and get to your destination. No, no. You're going to you're going to have to decide at points. You're going to, there's going to be forks in the road where you're going to have to decide: okay, Do I go left? Do I go right? And you might go left, and it might hit a dead end. And that's perfectly normal. And in those situations, you, when you reach those dead ends, you might get scared, you might get worried, you might stress a little bit, you might get distracted by that tree that's hanging above above the hedge. It's completely normal, it's completely natural to get lost along the way. But know this, when you hit those dead ends, do not stress, do not worry. Because God is still there. God is still there guiding you through that maze. You might hit that dead end, but God will be there to tell you, turn around. Go back where you came and take the other direction. Take the right direction. I know for schoolers right now, you might be thinking, well, this year has completely stuffed up my schooling. You know, how am I supposed to come back from, from us being, you know, sidetracked so much during this year? For matriculants, you might be thinking, what does this mean moving forward when it comes to university? For those who are working, it might mean I've been retrenched and I and I just don't know what's next. I just, I just, I, I just, I'm just stressing out about what's the next step. And I just want you to take a breath. Take a deep breath. Count to 10 if you have to. And remember, God is there. God is reassuring you that he is right by your side throughout and we may get lost along the way but God is always always there to point us in the right direction so that's what I want to leave you with everyone and I hope you take the most out into the rest of your Sunday into the rest of your week into the rest of your into the rest of your life things may change things will change you will get lost along the way But God is always there. There's always one destination. And we shall reach that destination together. Amen.